In this video, I'm going to show you crazy zip lines that you can put with Pathfinder. Uh, most of these I found by myself, but there are some that pros have shown. And I don't know, these some of these spots actually have like use and rank. But as you can see, I'm on top of this mountain and there's no timer. So I can ride up here. And I'll show you how to get up here. So. Watch for this out. rat spot, Rappling. you come over to this rock right here, it's right next to the geyser. And this little ledge, you need to make your zip minute, the ring at an far. angle to where you'll slide up the rock. This is so that other people can get up, right? So right there is about the perfect spot. And then... You want to hold forward and go to the right. You want to land Great. The ring about is here. I kind of messed up that zip. Yeah, the zip is badly placed. So you want to slide instead of mantle. And I happen to place it in a spot where mantles, but it ended up working out in the end. So once you get up here, you climb up here, come over here, over here, and there's no timer here. And you can stay here indefinitely to the ring. until you want Close to. Now, you could use this as a way to rat, um, because sometimes the zone does end here. Or you could use this as a way to get the jump on your enemy. So like, let's say the ring's moving. there is people let's in this house, this right? and they they're like they have sight on the hill up here if you have a pathfinder and you put a zip up here you can reach here and then slide jump off try to hit this to bounce off and boom you're right in front of the building so no longer do you have to be getting sniped from this window right you can already just land on their building and then play close quarters rather than you know just you're beamed pretty much this next one i also found pretty recently this one actually has super use it's very useful hey we're spread out a lot so look at the map this area right here is by far the most annoying area to get through right because people it's, a, it's such a good choke point. If you have Pathfinder, you can put a zip up here. You want to hug it on the right side. And you want to try mantle on this right here. So once you get up here, run over here. Kind of messed it up, but. You run over here. Hug like the left side. And here, hug the right side. Punching a tunnel. And. You can land right here. That, by far, has the most use, I think, when it comes to, like, getting over choke points with it, with just a zip line. This next one also can be used uh, in a rank situation. For example, if a team is here on this side of the mountain, or on the other side of the mountain, this literally is just amazing. So you could put your zip 45 seconds, rings close. right here. Or Getting shot at. you can put your zip here I go. over here. You cannot put it from the other side. It's only this side or where I showed you the first area. And when you put it up here, you have full range of motion around this entire mountain. So you can drop off at whatever point you'd like. 
So you choose. If you want to drop here, you can drop here. If you want to drop here, you can drop here. And you'll get the jump 100%. Or you can get away. And I found this spot out really recently. And it is pretty insane, dude. Like, uh, I'm probably going to use this in ranked. So this next spot... 45 right seconds, far ring. I got this, because no one else does. You could use this spot to get on to... There's also uh, no timer up here. So maybe you could set up here and uh, play the timer. But this spot is located right here. And you could use this spot as a way to get, like, let's say there's people camping this house right here, right? With this spot, you can get on top of that house without uh, having to go through and get shot. You land literally on it. You could also go to the other side through this area, but, uh, and you could go into the cave with that area, but. My main focus is the house. Now you have to do is fly jump. Now in the house. And you did not have to get beamed at. And you can also get the jump. Maybe get like a peacekeeper shot off. Or, you know, obviously no one's going to expect you to jump from heaven and Attention. land on them. So, uh, that's another spot. Um. This spot's pretty only used for, uh, I don't know, if you have a charge rifle, a longbow, and you want a different angle on top of your capital. Uh, there's also a spot right here that there is no timer, and you can just refresh your timer and play out of bounds. This spot isn't that useful, but, you know, it, it's nice to know this spot. And the last zip, this one is actually insane. So this tunnel right here uh, leads to so many. It literally always ends on this side. It's so annoying, right? So in order to get over this checkpoint, you come over here, put your zip. Most pros know of this. Put your zip here. And if you take this specific path, you can get over the entire mountain, not even having to go through the tunnel. Take this path, jump over here. Just be careful, there's a lot of spots where you can get stuck. Here. Slide jump, do not get stuck there. And here, make sure to slide jump or else you're dead. And make sure to not hit this rock. And boom, you're on the other side without having to go through the entire tunnel. And then obviously you can get the, uh, the jump on Anyone that's set up here, if you're a pathfinder, you come up here instantly. This zip is amazing. This is by far... This one's as useful as uh, zipline and geyser. Or er, er, the zipline near geyser. This one, I'll leave you over here. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. You should definitely, if you're a pathfinder main, you should definitely look into these dips and make sure to know them because there will be times where you know these dips could have saved your team or you could have just squad wiped the team <laughs> just like that so yep hope you guys enjoyed i'll keep my eye out for more zipline spots but um yeah